Welcome to the Pilates Show, where we explore Pilates tips and techniques to help deepen the skill level of the movement educator while having fun. Hi, Jen and Amelia here, and we're doing a uh, forward leaning inversion that um, this is one that is, uh, you'll see primarily taught in Spinning Babies with Gail Tully. And so this is a really nice protocol for throughout pregnancy, and then this can be used in labor also. And this helps to unwind the, the ligaments of the, the uterosacral ligament that connects into the sacrum and also the ligaments of the cervix that also connect into the sacrum. So this is a really nice way to keep, especially that lower uterus, balanced. So Amelia, um, we're using the reformer. I find this is a nice place to do it in the Pilates studio. So she's gonna have her knees at the edge and she's gonna carefully climb down onto her hands and then down onto her forearms. And her head is gonna be hanging down, but it's not gonna be touching the floor. And we're, we have her hip right over her knee so that her, her uterus can really hang and drop. Um, and you stay here for maybe 20 to 30 seconds. And to get up, she's gonna carefully find her hands and then she's gonna push herself up and my hands are cold, but I might be here. She doesn't need my help, but I might be here helping her with her shoulders. And then she'll come up and what is a really nice thing to do, I'm putting a pillow between her sitting bones and her heels so that she has a little bit more lift, create a little bit more space in the front of the hip. So after that forward leaning inversion where the uterus is really able to hang, then we keep the length in the front of the hip. So this is also a really nice way to cue length, for instance, in the, the psoas also. Now we're gonna add on to this and I'm gonna try to um, have this scarf, it's, this is really strong and actually soft cotton that's gonna go on the front of her thighs and then Amelia's gonna help me just kind of place it at the front of her thighs. And then she's gonna go again onto the floor carefully. And I'm gonna cross the scarf in the back and I am pulling back on her legs. So this is creating even more space through um, the front of her hips. Is that enough pressure? Amelia? Good. So I'm tractioning the legs back. She's pushing down into the floor, letting the uterus hang again. And then we're going to hold again 20 to 30 seconds. And I'm going to communicate with her that I'm going to slowly let the pressure go. So Amelia, that's what I'm doing right now. I'm going to slowly let the pressure go. So she has to take the pressure. <laughs> and then I let go of the scarf and she can push up onto her hands. Good, and I can help guide her. And then again, she sits back onto the pillow and she creates that awareness of length in the front of her hips, relaxing the belly again. Good, and I don't know if you can see it and we're not gonna go there, but what I would do next is take her off and have her even sit up on something higher like this, right? Crossing the ankles. So she has even more length here in the front of her hips. That's it for today. If you have a different take on today's subject or if there's anything you'd like to see covered in an upcoming episode, we'd love to hear from you. Comment below on Facebook, Twitter, or in the forum at fusionpilatesedu.com. See you next time and never stop learning.